Hello and welcome to GD Life at Pulse. Um, in this screencast, we will have a look on the GD test on screen scientific calculator, which you will find in the GD math and science test. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so that you don't miss any new videos. Now, um, the on screen scientific calculator is uh, basically like a real calculator that you are able to access on the computer-based test on screen. So there's going to be a button at the top I think, left in your test. You can click on that, an extra window will pop up in your test uh, that has basically a picture of a calculator and you can interact with all the buttons by clicking on them with your mouse. So it's basically exactly the same as having a real calculator in your hand and using it to solve mathematical problems. Now, um, yeah, we will go through the tutorial together from the gd.com homepage. Uh, let's have a look at this. The starting page looks like this. Um, you can find this on the gd.com homepage. Uh, we can put a link in the description of the video as well so that you can access it from there. And even if you're watching this video now, I'd highly recommend you to go over this tutorial on your own before you take the test, even when you are familiar using a calculator, just yeah. so when you are in the test situations that there are no surprises or anything uh, unusual, anything uncommon, um, anything that disturbs you during the test in the end can mean that you eventually lose a couple of points because you get distracted or you don't have enough time because you need to figure something out, how to work with the software and so on. So I really, really highly recommend you before taking the math and science test, do this tutorial, get familiar with the on-screen calculator so that there will be no surprises during the real test. Now let's have a look at this together. So what does it say here? So this is actually how the real GD uh, test on the computer will more or less look like. This is how the screen will look like. Uh, you will have like your buttons to go to the next page and so on down here in the toolbar. And you can already see here in the top left corner we have the calculator button that shows up in an extra window that we can move around. So welcome to the GD, GD test calculator tutorial. To begin, look at the lower right corner and click next. All right. Instructions, how to use the and open the calculator. So here we can open it, we can move it around so that we can see the important information um, that is given to us in the question. <coughs> um, okay, how to move and size documents. Two documents will be available to you during the test. The buttons for these documents will be on the right. Only the calculator reference document is available in this tutorial. You will want to move and size these documents to see the questions and the document at the same time. So well, calculator reference, we will go over these examples uh, in a minute. Now we can resize this window to make it bigger or smaller to be able to see everything that we want to see. Basic operations of the calculator. You can turn it on and off. Um, yeah, the second function will be quite important eventually for some questions. The second function turns on the basically the, the second function of the different uh, buttons, and every button that has a second function has the yellow letters on top, which is the second function of this button. So it's so, yeah, switching between the different functions of a single button. Um, enter completes the operation and executes the command. Um, second plus the minus sign answer recalls the most recently calculated result. If you by accident cleared it and the two arrows here toggles the answer between fraction and decimal, exact square root and decimal, and exact pi and decimal formats. And the arrows here on top allows you to move the cursor on screen um, and in operations as necessary. For example, when we work with powers, um, we can navigate 
or we work with fractions, we can navigate between top and bottom and go out of the fraction or out of the power operation. Practice with a calculator. So let's get into our first example. So we can open the calculator and do this calculation. 8 times minus 4 plus 7. How to do that? We click on 8 times minus in brackets for the operation of with times minus 4 and plus 7 and we hit enter and that gives us the result minus 25. So for sure there are different ways to do this uh, calculation or um, we could instead of using the brackets and minus as well put the minus 4 in brackets ourselves by using the brackets. Um, the only thing that's yeah, it's a bit annoying in this tutorial is that the calculator is not, not fully operational so we really can just go through the examples that they provide us and we can't actually play around with a calculator ourselves as we would like to, to solve maybe our own uh, examples and problems so we really can just we're limited to the examples that they give us here in this uh, practice test okay next uh, calculator reference so during the exam is a document uh, you will have a document that can show you how to enter calculations in the calculator this document has examples of how to use the calculator to calculate with percentages scientific notation fractions and more um, yeah you will be able to view this reference anytime um, when the calculator is available so again in the optimal situation you do that before you do the GED test and you really just need that reference sheet in uh, yeah, the worst case scenario if you really forget how to use the calculator or if you just need to reconfirm how to uh, if, if you did it correctly. Um, so again get familiar with this before you take the GD test. Um, sometimes we need to yeah, fill in boxes besides the calculator we will have um, arithmetic uh, symbols, mathematical symbols that we can use like square roots or um, bigger than smaller than symbols and so on. So again we have a bit of practice here and we are supposed to put into the box 7 is greater than 5. So 7 and we open the symbols is greater than and we click insert and we can see now it's here. No? Before, okay, let me show that again. We click on it, insert, okay, it should be with another one works um, it's greater than we can close it and five seven is greater than five um, you will have a formula sheet available so I'm not sure uh, if this is in every test center in our test center uh, our test takers get a separate formula sheet um, with the erasable noteboard, uh, noteboard during the math exam so they don't need to use it on screen they have it as a yeah, physical document uh, next to them during the exam maybe if you take the test you will have the on-screen formula sheet I'm not really sure about that all right so let's have let's go over some of the examples together calculator reference let's open it we have some example calculations how to do them um, yeah how to do basic arithmetics percentages scientific notation fractions mixed numbers powers and roots and to toggle different keys uh, to toggle uh, answer answer toggle key yeah okay so we will yeah, go through these together. The first one we did already. So let's have a look at how to do percentage calculations. So for that, let's make this a bit smaller. So the calculator fits on screen as well. Here's our calculator. 
and let's have a look at the percentage question. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to calculate 40% of 560. So how do we do that? We type in 40 into the calculator. Um, now we need percent. So where do we have percent? We can see on top of the bracket is the percent sign. To access this, we need to press second for the second function and then this and we get the percent and then times 560 and that is 224. Scientific notation, how to do that, so we can clear, um, we can actually recall our answer, is that possible? No, it's not possible. Um, okay, so 7.8 times 10 to the power of 8. So we don't need to use the times button now. We can just use the scientific notation button, which already includes the times, as we can see here. So times 10 to the power of, now we are up here, and we can put in our number to the power of 8. So since we have finished with the power now, it's just power of 8, not power of 80 or something, um, we have to click the arrow button to get out of changing the power and back into our normal operation and the minus 1.5 times 10 1.5 times 10 to the power of 8 and that is equal to this quite big number and that is the same answer as we get here so how to do fractions? So first we find the fraction button, numerator and denominator, n over d. And we can see we can now put in the 2 first. And if we want 2 over 9, so we go now, we navigate down into the denominator over 9 and out of the fraction by clicking to the right times and a new fraction 3 over 7 and again we go down to the denominator and out of the fraction I don't need to actually we can just press enter and the answer is 2 over 20 one. If we want this as a decimal, we can now click on these two arrows here. Again, sadly, it doesn't work uh, only for these specific examples. We can't do our own examples, but this would give you the decimal answer to that question. Mixed numbers. Okay, next example. Uh, 12, 5 sixths, 12, and again, fraction. Sorry, we need to do second, and here we have mixed numbers. No, first, first twelve. See, so here it gets a bit uh, a bit complicated. Here it gets a bit confusing, and that's exactly a situation that you want to avoid during the GD test. So, for a mixed, for mixed numbers, we first write the number and then not the normal fraction sign, but the second function of the fraction, which is a yeah, mixed number, and now 5 over 6, we go out of the fraction minus another mixed number, one second function, and 1 over 2, 1, and we navigate down to the denominator over 2. And the result is 34 over 3. To perform calculations with powers and roots, you will use the following keys. x to the power of 2, which is... Where is it? Here it is, x to the power of 2, we will or just yeah, 
the arrow up, that means to the power of, um, to get basically something else than the square. If we want to do the power of three or four, we use this button here. Here, same with the root. If we just want to do square root, second function of the square. If we want to yeah, take another root, then we use the second function of this button here. So, a couple of examples here. 1.2 squared, so 1.2, and we just click that button for the square, and that's it. 1.44, 7 to the power of 4. So now we use this button here, and we can enter another exponent, 2,401. The square root of 529, uh, first, second, and root, and 529. If we want to get out of the root, we can now press the button right to get out of the square root. Again, can't do that here, that's all we have to do in this example, and the answer is 23. And the next example, we use the second function of the power button. Oh, actually, okay, so again, it's a bit different here. We press the three first, and then second function of the power button. And now one, seven, two, eight. And that gives us 12. So again, yeah, this is, Oh, so these small things, oh, this is why it's really important for you to have a look at the calculator before the exam, I would say. How to do that, you can see, okay, you have to put the three in first, and then the second function of the power to get the root to the base of three, and that gives us, yeah, and then we put in the number we want to root. Okay and the toggle key to let us swap between decimals and fractions or yeah. so 9 over 10 and we can enter 9 over 10 and now we can change that into a decimal 0 0.9. Okay, so these were all the examples. Um, again, I'd yeah, highly recommend you to go over this yourself uh, before you take the test. Um, if you're not planning to take the test yet, uh, maybe have a look at it anyway, um, and definitely have a look again maybe a day before you take the actual GD test to just refresh how to work with the on-screen calculator. Okay, that's it uh, from us, GD Life at Pulse. I hope this video was helpful to you in giving you an idea about what to expect when using the on-screen calculator in the GD Math and Science exam. Um, if you need to know more about the GD Math, Science or other GD tests, have a look around on our YouTube channel. There are loads of videos that will help you to prepare for the exam. Until then, I wish you good luck for passing and see you next time.